Oh, startling images have emerged of the devastation in Tonga just days after the Pacific Island nation was hit by a huge volcanic eruption and a tsunami. At least three people are known to have died and there are fears of more casualties as the damage is laid bare. International aid is on the way even as a thick layer of ash hampers access. Oh, these are before and after images of the affected areas, with land and trees coated in ash. You can see other damage caused by the eruption and the tsunami. The International Federation of Red Cross estimates that up to 80,000 people may have been affected. Ash from the volcano could also contaminate water supplies. The Red Cross's water purification, providing shelter and reuniting families are the priorities. The challenge is nobody is in contact with anybody on the island. Uh, and therefore, we are all a bit in the dark about exactly the scale of damage or what people are experiencing. So we're having to do a lot of you know, a lot of estimates based on what we know from responding to other disasters of this nature in the region and around the world. International relief efforts are being hampered by the poor conditions. A plane carrying aid was due to fly out from New Zealand today, but has been delayed due to ash covering the main runway. All this will delay the arrival of vital aid supplies, such as collapsible water containers and generators, about two days. The roads have been cleared. Um, the buildings are being, are being cleaned up. Um, Luna Road um, on the waterfront, you'll be very familiar with. Um, a, lot of, a lot of rubble, a lot of um, rocks strewn up with the tsunami. Some damage to the buildings there, but um, Nukolok is trying to get back to normal. Tonga is virtually cut off from the rest of the world after the volcanic blast damaged an undersea cable. Now, repairs could take up to two weeks, but there is hope that limited communications could be re-established within days. In the meantime, it's an anxious wait for Tongans overseas. Many just want to know if loved ones are safe. At the moment, we've had no contact at all with um, anyone from Tonga. The worst fear is always that you're not going to see the people that you love again.